bonus clip time. It's 50 Huz, aka Huzefa with the Strella on my back. And what you're gonna see right now is me getting Warlord Pro. I thought I'd just share this with you with the Spectre. Throw the Semtex, is it gonna get a kill or two? Yes, it does. Give me that double kill, baby. Drop shot, get my Napalm Strike, aka the Barbecue Machine. Panic shot that was. There we go. Warlord grenade multi kills in 6v6 TDM. And this was later on in the same game. The enemy calls in his care package. I take him out. I take his care package because I'm a thief. And hey, it's a rolling thunder calling that baby. Looks like an Air Force One. That's beautiful. Drop those bombs in 6v6 TDM. Show me that multi kill. One, two, three. Plus two, a five man rolling thunder in 6v6 TDM. I'll take that all day, every day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey guys, it's 50 Huzz, but you should already know that, and look at us, like little bosses, capturing the flag, playing objectively, as I'm playing Domination and not TDM. But hey, you should already know I'm gaming with subscribers when I'm playing Domination, I got this digital camo on the AUG, I think it looks deadly, it looks like a predator, it looks like a missile, it just looks lethal, really like it. And I enjoy looking at it, it's visual, visual entertainment. But we're playing Domination on Havana, and yeah, enjoy the gameplay. I want to speak about a little topic, as you can read the title. Well, I hope you can. If you can't, then I feel for you. I feel for you. I can be your personal teacher. I can teach you how to read. But I'm after to charge a high price. And look at me again, capturing the flag as we're playing Domination. But I'm sure you guys can see that, so I don't need to explain that. If you can read the title, reinvesting into my channel. By that, what I mean, yes, I'm a machine, I'm a partner, and I've got a YouTube partnership. If you don't know that, now you do. Because you should be seeing advertisements on my videos for like the past few months. I think since January 2011, I was a partner. So I do get revenue for my videos. But let me just inform you guys, it's not a lot. It's not a lot, right? <laughs> I'm not buying no Ferraris or Lamborghinis yet. So, I'll get a bit of revenue, a little bit of change here and there. And what I thought was, I'm gonna reinvest some of that money into my channel. And things like HD PVR, it costs money. It's not free, it doesn't fall down from the sky free of charge. That cost a lot of money. That cost 130, 140 pounds in the UK. Um, so the money I do get from my machine, my payments. This month I've decided to purchase a HD camcorder. And you might be thinking, a HD camcorder? How is that going to benefit your channel? Well, I do a lot of vlogs. Well, I don't do actually real vlogs. I do vlogs for my machine, my link videos. As you should have noticed and right now I use the laptop built-in webcam and I just need to tell you it's rubbish quality the sound is always out of sync and it just looks like a noob video so I'm hoping with this new HD camcorder everything's gonna be perfect you can see my beautiful face in HD or maybe not but hey it should be better quality than before and that's all down to the machine payments which is paying for better quality videos on my channel don't get me wrong, that camcorder costs more than the machinima payment. So I'm still putting out my own money. But I never had the intention. I never had the intention of becoming a YouTube partner. It just happened to be like that. I put out 200 videos be before I became aware that you could earn revenue off your videos. And even then, even then I always thought, why the hell would they want to partner me? I'm just like a guy from the UK. 
uploading hardcore search videos who the hell is going to be interested in that but things just worked out nicely doors opened for me I became a machinima sports director and that's what contributed in me becoming a machinima partner and getting revenue off my videos let me let me just stress it's not a lot so it's not a lot it's, it's not a replacement for a job as I get in the chop again I've got a flying pilot license printed on paper now I'm just kidding so yeah expect some better vlog qualities videos in the near future and maybe I'll do more vlogs maybe I'll do a vlog one day outside of my room because I've not done that yet um, I was thinking of going to Game Fest, which was like a UK gaming conference type thing where they were showcasing Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield. But I don't know. It just did. I don't want to go then. So maybe in the future, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But hopefully, you guys enjoying this gameplay on Havana, Flak Jackets, Lab Fan Marathon, and I think it's right now. Well, there's gonna be a point in this video where I just keep dying. I keep dying and it's like a death streak. <laughs> death streaks would have been useful for me. I fast forward the boring parts and that takes me on to my next topic. Um, on my Facebook, I do regular polls. And check out this, I just got tomahawked. Damn, that was a nice kill. I have to showcase that. How many other YouTube commentators would show a cool death? I don't know, I've never seen that. I thought, you know what? Fair play to him. I'll give him credit. That was a nice kill. I'm not even embarrassed about that. <laughs> I gotta give him props. So going on to the next topic. On my Facebook, I do regular polls which influence um, my video content on my main channel. When my YouTube channel. I leave polls like... Recently, I've done one where... Regarding the boring parts and gameplays. Would you rather like to see them fast forward? Or would you rather see them skipped completely? Answer that question in the comment box below because most people on my Facebook said um, just fast forward it, not like skip them out. And yeah, that's fine. But if it's like one minute of boringness with no kills, then I'm just going to skip that out. But if it's something like 15 20 seconds, sure, I can fast forward that, that's fine. And also, sometimes I ask on my Facebook, what should I upload the next day? Should it be a high roller wager match? Should it be a high roller TDM? I mean, <laughs> high roller TDM. What are you on about, 50 years? I just got barbecued. My mind is getting fried. Kentucky fried chicken and chips. But sometimes I ask, should I, do, should I upload a live wager match or a live TDM? And most of you guys actually said live TDM, which I was, just, I was surprised for. So make sure you guys just get involved. You guys can influence what videos I upload. As I get barbecued again, no flax jacket pro is useless. Believe me. Well, does that even make sense? No flax jacket pro. Guys, don't use napalm strike unless you got flax jacket pro. Let me just tell you that because the amount of times I've had embarrassing moments due to getting barbecued myself with my own napalm, it just like rubs salts in the wound. And over here, I just died. But it's all good in the hood. I'm gonna take a sip of water because my mouth is going dry than the desert. And Liverpool are just getting owned right now by Tottenham. It's 2 0. <laughs> they got two red cards. <laughs> but it's all good in the hood. Um, I was gonna speak about another topic, but I'm just gonna keep that for my next for my next video. And just a quick update on my connection issues. I know the other day I told you I had 10 internet. Well, connection interrupted in one game. That was true. But recently, I've been getting like one or two, which I don't want to say I can cope with. But it just all depends upon where it actually happens. If you get a connection interrupted straight after you spawn, that's fine. Because the chances of, of any immediate danger of being killed is very low. But if you're in the enemy's team spawn area... And you get connection interrupted. You might as well just say, okay, you're going to be killed. And you're going to be spawned somewhere else. That's happened to me a few times. And now that's frustrating. And what I'm worried about is in Modern Warfare 3. When I'm going for these so-called gameplays. And I get connection inter interrupted. And it ruins my kill streak on my game. That is going to be really frustrating. So I'm hoping the internet gets sorted. Or if I change internet service providers. I don't know. We're just going to have to see what happens. So yeah, this gameplay is coming towards an end of my kill streaks in this game were the spy plane, the barbecue machine as you've seen when it barbecued myself and the chopper gunner. 
Um, the trap we're gonna kinda is kinda hit and miss on this map because sometimes you can't move your trap gunner to aim at the enemy and it just gets so frustrating. That's what I don't like about the trap gunner. I have been using different kill streaks recently. I've got some 40 plus gameplays for you guys. So look forward to that. I've got very good quality videos coming up soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. The final score is gonna pop up on the screen pretty soon. I always enlarge the screen now at the end so you guys can see the final score loud and clear there we go 200 233 i'm at 58 and 11 with with three captures and zero defense leave a comment leave a rating and i'll catch you next time latest